What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, we on fire today with all these videos I'm uploading. You can tell it's my day off, so I'm giving you as much time as I can. And this story right here just came across my news feed and um, it's messed up. But um. This is what happens when you have a lot of people piled on top of each other like sardines, especially in like a lot of housing projects across America. And this story right here takes place in Brooklyn, New York. Shout out and why. And uh, it's a tragic case of just a spat between neighbors that turned deadly. I'm going to play you this uh, video and I want you to look at how vicious this fight turned out to be. And then when we come back, I'm going to play you a video of what was shown prior to this guy pulling the trigger on this family. Now, in this story, a father and a son were brutally murdered by their neighbor downstairs for making too much noise in their apartment, supposedly. Now, the gunman is on the run. Police are looking for him. They know who he is. He's identified. These people, forgive me, they have names that are very hard for me to pronounce. So we're just going to fly with this. But either way, senseless violence shouldn't have happened. I'm sure they could have came up with a peaceful resolution and things didn't have to be the way they are. Check out the video and we'll come back and talk about this. Begin with that double murder in Brooklyn, a father and son inside of their apartment. Their downstairs neighbor apparently fed up with the noise going upstairs and cops say then pulling out a gun and killing them both. All this happened last night in East Flatbush. That neighbor is now on the run. I would assume reporter Crystal Cranmore speaking to the family of the victims. She's live at the scene for us. Crystal. Bill and Sade, there's been a constant flow of support in and out of this building from local community members, including a state lawmaker. While the hunt continues for the suspect, the family is demanding swift justice. The guy downstairs, he killed my brother, the neighbor. He killed my brother, my dad. The law still doesn't feel real. I think that I'm dreaming. Killing my husband in front of my, in front of my 10 year old. The pools of blood outside Marie DeLille's fourth floor apartment in the Flatbush Gardens complex in East Flatbush. A constant reminder of the horror Sunday night. A gunman opened fire, killing 47-year-old Vladimir Maturin and his 27-year-old son, Shinwe Mood. Last night, I was in the kitchen doing dishes. While I was emptying the sink, I hear bang, 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 bang. Dalil says the downstairs resident was banging on his ceiling, angry about noise allegedly coming from Dalil's apartment around 10.30 p.m. I'd be like, did anybody make noise? The kids be like, no, mommy, nobody make noise. My husband banged back. The man came back, came upstairs, kicked the door. Dalil says an argument escalated before the suspect fired nine rounds at father and son. The family, originally from Haiti, downsized from a larger apartment, an adjustment for her younger children. There's been an ongoing dispute for years about noise. Kids make noise all the time. It doesn't dictate for someone to come up with a firearm. We knocked on the suspect's door. A woman refused to comment. Assemblywoman Monique Chandler Waterman helped the grieving family. My job, I look at, is supporting the whole entire family and the community and providing wraparound services on what's needed. When something like this happened, it traumatized the family. The family now holding on to memories. My son is a good boy. Good boy. My husband is a good guy. He's not violent. My husband have no gun, no weapon. Why would bring your gun to shoot my family? Why would bring your gun to tear my family apart? All right, guys, that's uh, the news article of what happened. And uh, it's unfortunate. You know, the man lost his life and so did his son. All over a noise complaint. Now, this is something that happens a lot. You know, especially in high rise apartments or apartments where you have somebody living over you. Sometimes, you know, people make too much noise and people bang. They do bang on the floor like, hey, quiet it down. It was a lot of people living in that house. You know, they moved from a bigger apartment. They had to downsize. Sometimes things like that happen. And uh, noise is an issue. 
The guy was upset. He came up there. He spoke. I guess, you know, a lot of people don't like being told what to do. It was an aggressive situation. I don't know who was hostile or who wasn't, but I got this video up here. Take a look at this video. This is moments before they started, uh, you know, the guy started shooting. And the small guy is the shooter who's on the run. Now, if you look, the other guy that, that with the white T-shirt, that's the guy whose house he came to that was making too much noise. That's a big dude. You look in his hand, you see he got some scissors. So he came out with a weapon already. My other, the uh, other dude ain't brandished a weapon. Now, he got all up in his face. I don't know what role his son played in it, but I mean, it was aggression. It was a lot of aggression there. Things get heated. Egos are involved. And, you know, people wind up doing what they do. And it's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? But I do give women credit. You see the women, hey, come back. You know, they're trying to defuse the situation. But sometimes when testosterone gets the flying, man, it's hard to control that. And the outcome was what it was. Did you see that blood all over, all over the uh, door and stuff? Like, they just showed that? Like, they didn't even cover that up. I'm telling you, man, New York is a, di they, this is a different type of animal in New York, man. They, don't, they play for keeps up there. And um, let me tell you something about crime scenes. A lot of people are like, oh, well, why would they show that? This is a fact. They have uh, things called crime scene cleanups, right? It's a service where they come out, they clean up all of the stuff. Now, a lot of times when medical examiners and stuff come, they'll clean up the body, but all of the fluid and stuff, depending on where it's at, and they have to charge for it, they'll leave it there. So that's left for the family to clean up. That's hor horrifying. Now, I don't know if these people had to clean up because it was an apartment building, but I mean, just that right there, and I can, you can imagine all of that yelling and then the shooting, all the people coming out and seeing bodies laid out. It's a horrific way to live. It is. Now, this guy's on the run. Left his apartment and everything. They know who he is. They'll catch him eventually. But this guy right here, you know, the one that died and his son, it's unfortunate because now he leaves his woman. And he was so upset with arguing with a guy that sometimes what matters most, family gets lost in it. And then you get caught up. You know, puffing your chest out with somebody else that you feel as though disrespected you and you're not going to back down. And this is the outcome. It's unfortunate. He was aggressive. He was a big dude. The other dude was small. You know, sometimes people pull that equalizer. But see, the thing is this. When he pulled the gun, I don't think he had to shoot. Unless my man ran in and came back at him again, which I don't know. I mean, the video was too short, but. Just looking at the whole thing, man, I mean. Could it be avoided? I don't know. I don't. It's just unfortunate that people can't resolve conflict no more. And everything now is like. We'll beat each other to death and then talk later. We're losing ourselves. Humanity's losing itself. Now we got a bunch of people. Now this guy with the breadwinner of the family, it throws the whole balance of the dynamic of family off. It's winter time coming. It's hard to get a job. You know, especially like if, I don't know the lady's situation, if she worked as well, but you know, he's dead, the son's dead. I don't know if they both had jobs, but I mean, it just tilts the whole axis of the balance of the family. And this guy's on the run. But guys, I wanted to cover this story, man. I mean, it, it was just shocking to see. I wanted to share it with you guys, man. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've lived in apartments. I'm in an apartment now. I'm on the top floor, though, but I don't make noise like that. But I mean, sometimes people can't take that. But then again, if you can't get a house. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is unfortunate.